Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a first look video at Sony Vegas Pro 9. You can't really call it a review because I just uh, installed Sony Vegas Pro 9 about 15 minutes ago. And like half the stuff that it's supposed to come with, it didn't come with mine. And I don't really have everything that you should have. So I'm just going to do a quick review, like a, just a little first look. So I don't know. Call it what you want. I'm just going to call it a first look video. So this is Sony Vegas Pro 9 right here. Uh, if you've been using Sony Vegas Pro 8, then you'll see a huge difference just by the appearance. Um, I'll do a quick comparison. So this is Sony Vegas Pro 9 right here, and this is Sony Vegas Pro 8. As you can see, the whole color scheme is different. Uh, Sony Vegas Pro 8 is like a whitish and grayish uh, kind of combination, and Sony Vegas Pro 9 is uh, kind of a black and dark gray kind of combination. So yeah there's a huge difference in there and uh... normally i'd agree that the black uh... color scheme is better but i actually like sony vegas pro 8's uh, color scheme better i don't know why but i think it works better like this just with the white and the gray uh... i think it looks better like this so post in the comments below which uh, color scheme you like better but uh... before you actually comment you gotta see why i think that this is better than this so first of all Look up here. When you select uh, a setting or an icon or something, it turns white, and the contrast between the white and the dark gray is just really big, and it, I don't like it. So, like, look, if I'm changing all the settings here, like, oh, I want this or I want this on, it's just really distracting. It's distracting. So, I don't like that part, especially. And the same thing over here. If I'm selecting which category I want, uh, sometimes, like right here, it's now white, and I just don't like this contrast. Same thing over here. I'm selecting uh, which tab I want, and the contrast is just uh, intolerable for me, but that's just my opinion. So, if you like it, that's fine. It's all up to you, but personally, as far as appearance goes, I'd stick to Sony Vegas Pro 8. Like, if you see the contrast here, it's not so bad, because white on, like, a light gray really isn't that bad, while white on dark gray is so that's all I'm saying um, I just don't really like that part but there certainly are a bunch of pros for Sony Vegas Pro 9 like all the new features which I have here I'm on the Sony Vegas Pro 9 website so let's see Sony Vegas Pro 9 now includes 4k support so Vegas Pro 9 software natively supports frame sizes up to 4096 by 4096 so basically if you're working with uh, video clips that are a huge resolution and uh, the frame size is like 4000 by 4000 or greater than that even then uh, this is for you but for me I'm not working with uh, that high resolution clips or anything so I uh, don't need that really but if you need it then that's fine sophisticated lighting effects Vegas Pro 9 includes over 190 customizable video effects and uh, the new ones are glint rays, defocus, starburst, and soft contrast, and fill light. So, let's look at Sony Vegas Pro 9, and my video effects are right here. Defocus, fill light, glint, rays, soft contrast, and starburst. These are all the new ones. All these are not included in Sony Vegas Pro 8. You can only get these uh, effects in Sony Vegas Pro 9. So, defocus looks like this. So, here's the before and after the eyeball. When it's uh, crystal clear, that would be the before and after is uh, the blurrier version so that's what circle moderate bloom looks like and then hexagon looks like this visible outer ring looks like this and then fill light doesn't really do anything I see what they're trying to achieve here with fill light when you're uh, doing a green screen shot you want three lights you want a fill light a key light and a backlight and this is f specifically for green screen shots and I think they're trying to simulate a fill light but I don't think that'll work too well I can put in some stock footage here, so I'm just going to import something here. Uh, okay, this will do. So I'll just drag this into the timeline. So here is the clip right here. Let's go to the video effects tab. Let's just do uh, moderate. Let's see what the fill light does. And okay, that's actually not bad. So uh, here is the before. Like, see, there's the before, and there's the after. That's adding a moderate fill light which uh, is a pretty good simulation but I'd stick to just using a real fill light and let's see uh, the controls here are much different than before 
and change the color and the strength and everything. Uh, it looks different than in Sony Vegas Pro 8. So look, I'll remove this and let's drag it on. So if I want to change the controls, it looks like this. It just looks different. Now in Sony Vegas Pro 8, let's uh, again import something. I should have really done this already, but whatever. Okay, so if I want to do it in Sony Vegas Pro 8, go to the video effects and choose one. Let's do color corrector. And as you can see, it just looks different. Actually, that wasn't a good example. Let's do uh, TV simulator. Alright, so as you can see, like all the switches or whatever you want to call these things, the sliders, they look like this in Sony Vegas Pro 8. In Sony Vegas Pro 9, they look like this. So uh, it kind of reminds me of After Effects, Adobe After Effects, so I don't know, that's kind of cool. But personally, again, going back to Sony Vegas 8, I prefer these style. But that's just me, so I don't know, it's all up to you. So uh, yeah, that's another improvement, or maybe not an improvement, depending on your preferences. And going back to the video effects, so that's what Fill Light is, and Glint is, whoa, it looks really interesting. That's kind of cool. So I'd actually prefer to have this in Sony Vegas Pro 8, but would I spend 600 bucks just for Sparkle? No, I wouldn't. And let's see, Rays, Luminance, and Alpha. Let's see, Luminance. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It looks pretty cool, though. I'd actually really wish I'd have this on Sony Vegas Pro 8. And here's something I've been wanting to try out. The Soft Contrast category, Warm Vignette, Vignette whatever you want to call it. Drag this in. And yeah, that looks actually really good. But whatever, would I sacrifice the money for it? No, I wouldn't. So I'd still stick to Sony Vegas Pro 8 because I don't like the new appearance style. Like, just this. This bothers me when I highlight my mouse cursor over uh, the sliders and it just kind of selects it like that. I don't know. I don't like it. That's just me, though. So yeah, the new video effects are actually quite good and I really like them, but it's not worth it for... Sony Vegas Pro 9. I like Sony Vegas 8 way more, but Sony Vegas Pro 9 definitely has better video effects. And let's see, transitions. Uh, see, this is what I was talking about before. I'm missing my transitions. I don't know why they weren't included. I'll have to figure that out before, but I might not even look into it because I'm just going to stick to Sony Vegas Pro 8. And let's just talk about more about the appearance. Uh, all the sliders, again, like right here, they look different. Like here's in Pro 9, the sliders are all high detail. In Pro 8, they're low detail, but I still prefer it. I don't know why. I just don't. Or I just do, actually. So, wow, I messed up. Okay, so that's basically it for Sony Vegas Pro 8. Let's see what else they have here. Or Sony Vegas Pro 9. Jeez. Okay, so they now have 32-bit floating point video processing, which is enhanced. I should have went over this as well. So let's go to our project properties. As you can see here, the pixel format is 32-bit floating point full range, or it can be 32-bit floating point video level. So I can have it at video levels or full range. That's a, an improvement over Sony Vegas Pro 8. In Sony Vegas Pro 8, all you get is 8-bit and 32-bit floating point. So you have more range in Sony Vegas Pro 9, but if you're really that picky, I just don't care. So I'd still stick to Sony Vegas Pro 8. Let's see what else. Uh, everything else here is already included in Vegas 8. The only new things under the video category is the 32-bit floating point enhancements and sophisticated lighting effects and 4K support. Everything else is already included in Vegas 8. So that's kind of creepy. Like for video, like video is a huge part of Sony Vegas 8 or Sony Vegas because it's video and this is a video editing software. Seeing how only three things are new isn't really worth the money. Let's see the audio uh, improvements. Okay, I don't see any. I'm sure there are audio improvements, but I don't see any on the website. DVD creation. No, no, no. I think they have Blu-ray things now, like new Blu-ray support. Whatever. I'm not really going to go into this. I'm just giving you a first look. So, this is what Sony Vegas Pro 9 looks like. Um they got additional render support now, thank goodness. So if we render something, uh, the save as type, they got all the new codecs like image sequence. You can now do a BMP, which I believe is a bitmap. Yeah, bitmap and JPEG, uh, PNG, TIFF, like they got all these. I don't believe they have that in Vegas 8. And then they got all these other new ones like 
and let's see uh, the custom settings for Windows Media Video. Go to custom. Uh, this is kind of weird because I work with Windows Media Video Clips or uh, video format a lot. So this is the video format that I use all the time. In Sony Vegas Pro 9, the mode is either a constant bitrate, CBR, or a quality VBR, which is a variable bitrate. So you can either have a constant bitrate or a uh, variable bitrate. In Sony Vegas 8, you can get constant bitrate, uh, quality variable bitrate, bitrate based variable.